Only on two. I did this. I own this. This is on me. Those are the words of Dan Fought, the former owner of Window Depot in Chicago. He spoke for the first time during a bankruptcy hearing today. We've introduced you to a number of customers who say the company took deposits for home repair jobs but never did the work. Today, our Charlie DeMar continues his reporting. He's in Crystal Lake, where he spoke with a disabled vet who says the company took $20,000 from him. Charlie? Dan, or Joe rather, good afternoon. The Stewarts call their Crystal Lake home the Critter Home. Check this out. There are holes all over the house here and making it easy for animals to get on inside. The Stewarts say they paid $20,000 to Home Window Depot of Chicago and its former owner. And we weren't allowed to record what happened in court today, but the former owner of the company recognized that he let a lot of families down. I mean, it just irks me that that there's a person out there that would take advantage of of, of people like myself. It's Roger Stewart, a Navy veteran, served during the Vietnam War. His declining health has left him disabled. His wife, Lorna D, takes care of him full time. Nineteen thousand two hundred and thirty-one dollars, right down to the last dollar. You remember every cent. Well, because I had to scrimp money from every account I had and go short for groceries for the rest of the month in order to pay the deposit to get the work done. The stewards paid Window Depot of Chicago owner Dan Fought about 20 grand to fix their crumbling siding on their home in Crystal Lake, but the work was never completed. The stewards join a long and growing list of customers who say they were swindled. It's what kind of person sits here, looks you in the face and sees your situation and then still steals your money. He delivered nothing, absolutely nothing. He took your money and ran. Fought has since filed for bankruptcy and during a hearing, he tried to explain what went wrong to customers who are out thousands. Fought said in part, the business essentially ran out of money. My sales team wasn't performing anywhere near where they should have been. We had a very difficult time during COVID. We're an in-home sales company and our primary source of marketing was home shows and those were gone for a year and a half. I understand I let everyone down but it wasn't for a lack of effort. Here I am, 82 years old, an invalid, and, and that in this country, that should never happen. And in that bankruptcy hearing that lasted more than an hour and a half, Dan Fought insisted that this was not nefarious. It was a situation that got away with him and told those customers who are now out thousands that he did not use any of the business money for personal expenses. We are live in Crystal Lake. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie.